Hey, Rob, congratulations on the win. That's 13 this year. It's never happened. I wanted to ask you, you know, there was a lot at stake in this game, including the number two seed. How aware they didn't have it on the scoreboard for a while. What was it like kind of waiting to see, you know, what was going to happen in the other game and, and where you guys are right now? Well, first off, uh, coach told us that he wasn't even going to have the game or the score um, of that game on during our game, uh, which makes total sense. I mean, we had to do what we had to do. We had to take care of business first, because if we didn't take care of business, you know, we would have never gotten the number two seed. Uh, so when we took care of business, uh, we had the game, you know, uh, um, in, you know, wrapped up uh, under the fourth quarter. They put the game on. Uh, we had the other game in here in the locker room and uh and it went our way, uh, which is amazing, you know, and we took care of business though. And that's what really matters is that we did what we had to do and then the rest took care of itself. And now we got the number two seed, uh, which is really cool. We'll go to Kevin O'Donnell. Hey Rob, the first three possessions, you guys only generated 48 yards of offense and then things just exploded. What ignited this offense that finished with 409 yards and 41 points on the board? Yeah, I mean, the first, you know, couple drives, uh, we're pretty crappy, no doubt about that. And, you know, we can't have that, you know, going forward. Um, every game from here on out is do or die. It's going to be the playoffs. And that's going to hurt us big time if we go out there and we have three drives for 20 yards in the playoffs. So we got to clean that up big time. And then uh, we just, you know, woke up, I would say. We just woke up as an offense and just started firing, you know, hitting, hitting the open guys, you know, getting the run game going. And uh, we are just, you know, flat the first three possessions and uh, we can't have that happen if we want to win um, in the playoffs. We'll go to Greg Allman. Rob, I know everything starts with the team success today, but for you individually, you hit two big incentives today that were season long incentives that you hit in a season where you basically missed six games with injury. Just want to ask you how much that means and, and how nice it was to get that in the last game here as part of a win. Yeah, I mean, it was really nice to get it. I mean, first off, mo the most important thing is obviously getting the win. Um, but, you know, hitting incentives is cool. And uh, the Buccaneers are, you know, a great organization and uh, putting me in a position to where I can hit those incentives, uh, which is awesome. You know, love playing here, uh, love playing, you know, for this organization. And uh, it's cool to hit those, you know, it's, it's going to, you know, going to have to bring out you know, all the tight ends out the dinner, a couple of the quarterbacks. I don't bring Tom. I'm going to bring the backup quarterbacks out the dinner and uh, and all that good stuff. Maybe my coach out the dinner. Uh, you know, everyone's expecting a little handout, but, uh, you know, I can't do it without my team. No doubt about that. I can't do it without my fellow tight ends, without my coach, uh, without my, you know, offensive line out there. So without all, all the, you know, coaches. So it was cool to hit it, but, uh, in you know, celebrate a little bit, but, we got a playoff, so that's going to be what we're going to be looking forward to most from here on out. Thanks, Rob. Yep. We'll go to Jenna Lane. Hey, Rob, congrats, first of all. Um, what was it like for you guys um, going from having a really difficult time getting anything going in the first half, and then he hits Mike on that big chunk play, and then he hits you on a 20-yarder. You guys score, and then you score again to open up the second half, no huddle. Just what's it like for you guys to, to go from things not really moving and then all of a sudden you get this surge of momentum? Yeah, we needed that surge of momentum. And uh, you got to give it to Mike. He started that. You know, he sparked us. Uh, Mike with that catch and run, you know, just making some guys miss on, on the run um, aspect of it. It got us fired up. It got us going. Um, and that's what we needed. You know, we, we needed a little spark. And Mike did that for us. And uh, the first three possessions were just awful, awful crap. Uh, we can't have that, you know, we can't let that happen from here on out. We got to play good football, even if, you know, we don't go three and out, we got to just, you know, at least get some yards, at least get some first down that, you know, at, on the first couple possessions to get us rolling. But once we got rolling, once we got trucking, you know, once that spark lit, uh, we were just on fire from there on, there on out. We have time for a few more. Next, we'll go to Evan Winter. Hey, Gronk, uh, sticking with that slow start, what is it about Tom Brady during those slow starts, the cool, the calm, the collected, you know, attitude? What is it about him that helps fuel that fire that you just spoke about? Yeah, Tom doesn't like slow starts, really. Uh, you know, he looks, uh, you know, calm, cool and collected, but, you know, he's trying to light a spark under us, you know, get us going in the huddle. Uh, there's no doubt about that, but uh, it's, it's all for the good. It's all that, you know, light that spark. And he sure did. You know, he got us going, hitting Mike on that pass. Uh, but, you know, he's trying to light that spark, but he is also staying calm and cool, you know, to where, you know, we just got to start making plays and they're going to come. Thanks, man. Yep. 
Next we'll go J.C. Allen. Uh, you and Tom have been doing this for years. What do you notice may be different about Brady this year compared to all the other years past when you guys were starting to head into the playoffs? Uh, Rob, we can't hear you. One second. All right, we're good. I think we got you. Uh, <laughs> You're good. We can hear you. That was nice. <laughs> it was the Generation X. Oh, uh, oh, the difference between uh, Tom and the years is that uh, nothing. Uh, the guy always comes prepared week in, week out. He's always has a fire, you know, lit underneath him, always trying to spark, you know, the guys around him to, you know, be the best that they can be. But, um, Literally, he's always prepared week in, week out. You never see anything different. I mean, it's going to be the same preparation this week going into the playoffs than it was for the final season, uh, regular season game. So he's just always ready to play, man. He loves the game. And last question will come from Melissa Thomas. Hey, Rob. Uh, question for you. We heard a lot about the, you know, kind of the next man up mentality that uh, the team has. Kind of talk to us about that and what that means for you, seeing your fellow offense kind of rise to that occasion. Yeah, I mean, that's football. That's what a lot of teams, that's been, you know, with a lot of teams I've been a part of where it's the next man up. There's always injuries. There's always something going on to where someone else has to step in, and that's going to be crucial for us. Uh, we're going to need every single play on our roster to contribute. Uh, and you see, uh, you saw Scotty Miller step up today, which was awesome to see. Uh, you know, I love seeing him roll. You know, he's a great player uh, to see that hand, to see the ball in his hands was a you know great thing to see tonight, especially with that touchdown run he had. But um, it's football. It's the NFL. And uh, that's how you win games is when the next man up steps up and contributes and makes plays. All right. That's all we have time for. Appreciate Thank you the guys. Time, Rob.